Hallo zusammen bei einem neuen Spiel und zwar The Council. Das ist ein Episodenspiel. Das ist eine Art Krimi. Ich habe es auch in der Kategorie Horror gefunden, was ich aber eher weniger denke. Ich denke mal eher so Mystery. Schauen wir es uns einfach mal an. Es spielt im 18. Jahrhundert. Ein paar bekannte Persönlichkeiten sind dabei, aber es muss nicht unbedingt auf Tatsachen beruhen. Ist als Warnung vorweg gesagt worden. Okay, ich würde sagen, starten wir einfach mal. Und zwar hier in Frankreich. Zehnter Dezember 1700. 92. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Vertrauen wir ihr oder handeln wir selber? Ich will wissen, was die macht. Please, be my guest, mother. Hm. Ah. 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 Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. <laughs> Come on, let's be go. It. <laughs> And don't forget to send our men to tend to von Borschert. So, ein 
Jahr später, okay. Sind schon im Jahr 1793. Lord Mortimers Insel vor der englischen Küste. Done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. <laughs> are you right? Mother? Oh shit! Your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's no. going to find it. Did you hunt? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. 
No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. <laughs> Oha. Das Nasenbluten würde ich aber versuchen zu stoppen jetzt. Hugh. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. I definitely have to find mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, <laughs> Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Okay, was haben wir? Diplomat, Okkultist oder Detektiv? Der Diplomat hat seine Stärken in gesellschaftlichen Dingen. Als versierter Redekünstler umschifft er alle Konversationsklippen und kann seine Gesprächspartner nach Belieben überreden, ohne sie vor den Kopf zu stoßen. Sein liebstes Feld ist das der Politik. Okkultist. Der Okkultist ist der Meister der Täuschung, überzeugt davon, wie bedeutend Wissen ist. Hat er sich umfassende Fachkompetenzen in allen Dingen angeeignet, die die Wissenschaft und Kunst betreffen. Es macht ihm nichts aus, andere Personen auszunutzen, um seine eigenen Ziele zu erreichen. Detektiv. Der Detektiv glänzt bei Nachforschungen. Er ist geübt darin, selbst das kleinste Detail in seiner Umgebung und bei den Personen, die er befragt, zu entdecken. Als zupackender Typ hat er keine Scheu davor, die Dinge direkt anzugehen. Ja, was sind wir denn? Ich würde sagen, wir wählen den, Detek den hier. Den Detektiv. Okay, jetzt haben wir drei Punkte. Ähm. Aufmerksamkeit. Würde ich sagen... Oh, jetzt habe ich schon zweiter aus Versehen reingepackt. Aha. Kann ich wieder rausnehmen? Ja, kann ich. Logik. Da würde ich nämlich eher sagen. So. Okay. Dann mal äh, zurück. Ja. Ach so. Ich habe das falsch gemacht. Okay. Dann halt hier nochmal so. Befragung. Dann machen wir überall mal einen rein. So. Alle Punkte entfernen. Ne, bestehen in der Taste. Die falsche Taste gedrückt. Well, over the last few years I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Okay, wahrscheinlich. Uh... Hm. 
Don't you remember? We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. That fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. You too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. Ouch. Well, that didn't work. But that... Right, time to go to the manor. Hinweis, eure deine Fertigkeiten erlauben dir, versteck die Details zu entdecken. Wähle die am besten zur aktuellen Situation passende Stelle aus und versteck die Details zu offenbaren. Für die Investsuche werden keine Konversationspunkte fällig. Du musst lediglich die passende Fertigkeit besitzen, um zur entsprechenden Hinweissuche zu gelangen. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Persönlichkeit, jede Person, die du auf der Insel triffst, hat ihre eigene Persönlichkeit, wodurch sie gegenüber manchen Fertigkeiten anfällig wird, anderen gegenüber liegen gegen immun bleibt. Um deine Ziele zu erreichen, musst du die Persönlichkeit deiner Konversationspartner kennen, wenn du eine Fertigkeit einsetzt, gegen die eine Immunität vorliegt, wirst du keinen Erfolg haben und zugleich in den Zustand erschöpft geraten. Nutzt du hingegen eine Schwäche mit der entsprechenden Fertigkeit aus, erhältst du einen Konzentrationspunkt zurück. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. So, dann gehen wir mal ein bisschen schneller. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the Kays again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. Ah, okay, da können wir hier gucken. Emily ist noch Immunität Logik. Okay. Also Immun gegen Logik. Bei den anderen ist das noch nicht so bekannt. Bei dem ist schon einiges bekannt. 
Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. A Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Hm, können beides noch nicht. Wie doof. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Du Generoial stellt zwei Konfliktionspunkte wieder her. Du kannst nicht mehr als fünf beide tragen. Okay. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. The sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. touched for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. Okay. Have you all been checked? There's no rest. Natürlich nicht rein. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Hier, mit der Eisenstange. Kann da irgendwann auch Schlösser sein? Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Zweiten Mal geklappt. Okay. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm, shot it, come on, It's unusable now. 
I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly too. Bernsteinstücke, du hast gerade ein Bernsteinstück von für je vier, die du einsam steigt, deine maximale Konstruktion um ein Punkt. Amber Crystals. Ja, Leute, dann würde ich mal sagen, für die erste Folge war es das. Nach oben gehen wir beim nächsten Mal. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis dann. Tschüssi.